lovely people. Welcome to the channel. It's the self-proclaimed blue dragon here with part two of my New Year's resolutions videos. You want a resolution? Well, you know, we all want to make some plans. So that's what I'm doing. Let's get right into this. My goals with doing these videos, part of it is to keep myself on track and, you know, give myself some organization, but it's also to help inspire others to set goals for themselves and kind of get themselves organized because I know it's very easy to just kind of float around and not really have any plans or goals and it's a lot harder to discipline yourself and set forth your goals keeping in mind that you know even though you have these goals for the year to not beat oneself up if you don't happen to achieve all those resolutions or even any of them for me, the way I view these videos and these um, lists is to kind of point myself in the right direction to keep me on track. It helps keep me organized and at least gives me inspiration. Like if, if I don't know where to go, I can look at my list and be like, oh shit, I needed to do that. And I always keep my list in front of me. I tape it up on the window, I tape it up on the wall, wherever I'm sitting. I keep it with an eye shot of where I work, my workstation, so that it's not like hidden away in like my journal or anything like that. I see it and I can always reference it whenever I need it. So I realize these videos are probably boring because they're my goals, but maybe they can help generate ideas. Like I've watched other people's goals and that's like, for me, the way I view it is, oh yeah, I could maybe take on that challenge or oh yeah, that's a good idea. So that's why I'm kind of sharing these aside from also having a reference for myself at the end of the year whenever I start planning for 2022. So if I get some of these or all of these done, then far out and solid, that, that makes me happy. I'm super stoked. But if I don't, then guess what? I have a goal to kind of get me started for the following year. So I, I tend to not beat myself up about this. It just really helps me keep organized and inspired and keeps me on track for the whole year, I guess, if that makes sense. So let's work together as a community to inspire, support, and celebrate one another here in the indie art community. The goals that I'm going to share, they fall into these categories. Dark Horse, Comic Goals, that kind of thing related to those. I have Community Goals, General Art Goals, and then YouTube slash Video Goals. Hey, let's start with Dark Horse Goals. Since my free Not Safe for Work webcomic, links in the description, is the main focus of my channel and kind of what I focus on mostly as I guess a career. Completing this comic, it would be Word of Wednesday most momentous for me. So that's why I'm starting off with the Dark Horse goals. First off, same thing that I have on the list every year, finish scripting Dark Horse. It's gonna be on that list until I get it done. Hey! <laughs> Next up I have, I want to edit Acts 4 and Act 5 and get them ready for printing and for PDF sales. Now I want to make one thing clear, I've said it before, my comic Dark Horse will always be free. Free to read. That has to do with my own personal belief system. I like to make sure that there is free entertainment for people out there who don't have wads of cash to throw around. However, if you do want to help support the channel or my art, you can buy a copy on the Crystal Lotus Chronicles website. The link is down in the description if that's something you're interested in. Next goals, complete acts 5, 6, and 7 of the revamp. I know that's a lot, I have 3, but I'm going to try to keep them at around 25 pages per act and ideally I would like to be able to complete more than that since I've been challenging myself to draw a page a day or more. So hopefully I'll be able to achieve that. If not, again, like I said at the beginning of the video, I'm not going to beat myself up about it. I know I'm going to get Act 5 done and I will more than likely get Act 6 started if not completed. So that would make me happy. Next goal, catch up on the current chapter of Dark Horse so that there is no more revamp and the revamp is just me working on Dark Horse so that I'm not, I'm kind of in this headspace right now where I'm working on two different acts at the same time. I'm doing the Act 5 revamp and I'm 
on what is currently Act 7, but it's going to be a higher number later, so I should just be calling them the chapter titles, like Ceremony is what I am on now. And it's kind of frustrating, at least for me mentally, to be going back and forth between Act 5 and what's currently going on, but I also don't want to be a dick to my faithful readers on Comic Fury because they have been there and it would be so rude and just, just piss ante of me to not be updating there at all. So right now I'm working on two, but my goal for 2021 is to catch up with the revamp so that I can put all of my energy into just working on one chapter at a time and just getting the shit done so that I can complete Dark Horse. That 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 is my goal. Well, not for 2021, but I would I want to complete this series so I can start the next one. Another goal, add more characters to the cast page. Kind of lower priority. That's why it's lower on the list. Not a lower priority, but I almost forgot to put it on the list. Uh, one, I want to have a buffer for one to two months out, if not more, but eh, we'll see. I always want to build a buffer, and I always run out of buffer. It would be so cool to just have a year's worth of a comic done. Oh my god, that would be amazing, but I don't know. That's not going to happen. Maybe I'll look towards that in the future. Moving right along to the next category, community goals. I'm going to try to keep this short because it's kind of a rehashing of, you know, last week's video. I want to continue participating in two to three crossovers and exchanges. I did quite a few last year. I only mentioned a couple, but like I did a Secret Santa. I did a whole bunch. I did a whole bunch of shit. I didn't even mention that I did like a whole bunch of critiquing and reading and judging at the beginning of the year for the Tapas Indie comics contest thing that uh, Tired Programmer had hosted over on Tapas, so it's like, holy shit, that was, that was, that was a lot of reading. It was over a thousand pages, actually, I think it was over three thousand pages that I read, holy shit, but yeah, I'm not doing that, I don't know, I don't even know if she's hosting that again this year. She hasn't hit me up to help, or I haven't really been on the forum, so I don't know what's going on with that, but trying to help out with things like that. I'm going to continue promoting indie comics on my social media and on my video channels. Um, every now and then I want to like have some fan art and then like talk about some of my favorite comics that I personally read. I want to be more active on the forums and try to help with critiques and I need to stop being shy. Like I do this thing where it's like I don't actually talk to people. I just answer the question and then there's no like dialogue or... I don't know, I just get nervous because I used to get into like debates and stuff on forums and I don't, I'm very non-confrontational and things used to get very heated on several forums so I, 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 I kind of retreated into my shell so I want to try to be better at like holding actual conversations with people, that's a goal of mine. Uh, isn't it weird? It's like face to face. I can talk to just about anyone, but I get so nervous online. I don't know. That's that's weird. I guess I don't know. Also, a big goal, big big goal of mine is to really get the Comic Fury zine up and running. And I mean, it's already up and running, but I really want to be able to promote indie comics and really make this zine a popular thing. I'm working with uh, Mega Master on it. Uh, our our third person did have to step down. Um, Snark Claw, she helped out quite a bit, but she stepped down at the end of the year, which is fine. I mean, nobody's getting paid for this. But he and I are going to be talking about trying to figure out how to get this into the public eye. So if you guys out there have any ideas, I want to hear them in the comments, please. Any ideas at all would be super fucking helpful because this is a free zine and we're doing it to drive readers to the comics. There's a lot of really fucking cool people on Comic Theory and I just think, I mean, just from the one convention that I got to go to before COVID, nobody's even heard of Comic Theory. At, at least the younger people that I talk to and the older people that I talk to. <laughs> they, they, nobody heard of fucking Comic Theory. So I, the, the whole point of this zine is to get into the public eye and promote these indie artists. And they're all free fucking comics, you guys, so there's nothing to lose. So yeah, if you have any ideas, let me know. But that's a goal of mine is to really find a way to get this shit promoted so that I know people are reading the zine and it becomes kind of a popular thing so that we can drive readers to the artists. 
and like connect readers to art. It's not just about the, it's about the artist, but it's also about helping readers find free fucking comics to read. Yeah, so I mean, it's it's a it's a good thing all around in my opinion. All right, general art goals that I have. Why do I sing sometimes? It's because I'm strung out and I never sleep anymore. Uh, by the way, I am not glorifying not sleeping. This is just this is just my life at the moment right now. I'm trying to get back on a normal schedule. Things are insane right now. But let's move along. General art goals. I want to continue to educate myself and grow my skills. I think continued education is extremely important. Especially since it's so easy to, once you graduate high school and if you go to college, once you've graduated college, it's so easy to just get caught up in your life that you just, you only focus on either your work or your job and we just stop educating ourselves. But things continue to evolve and grow around us, so I, I think that Continued education is imperative in keeping up with the times and bettering oneself. So that's a goal of mine and I'm going to be sharing some of that. I'm actually going to do a whole video on it. I want to focus on improving how I ink. I recognize that I do not have a lot of control. I've been adding more detail and I want to get better at adding details that are appropriate for the mood of the comic. So these are all things that I want to focus on and I actually bought, thanks to my patrons, I was able to afford the Alfonso Dunn book, Simple Inking Techniques or something. I don't know, I got it all. I'm going to be talking about it next week so I don't need to fucking give you the title right now but he's he's got a channel and it is free and it is fucking fantastic watching him so that's one thing that I'm reading to help better my inking skills trying to improve on that since I didn't really get a lot of experience in college that's something that I'm focusing on this year in 2021 also of course continuing working on my backgrounds trying to make sure that I'm not being lazy and avoiding backgrounds just because they're hard which is what I want to do but you got to tackle the hard shit so that you can get better you don't get better by avoiding things you get better by repetition and doing it so I, I've got that as a goal composition I need to work on that's probably going to be it, well, it's going to be in the background, but I'm probably going to make it my main focus in 2022. However, I need to be working on it now, so it is something that I'm going to be keeping in mind. And then, of course, action scenes, which is tied in with the composition. I'm also going to try just general articles trying out screen tones. I have a couple. I bought some last year, but I haven't pulled them out yet, so I want to give that a go. I want to try out Manga Studio, Clip Art Studio. The reason why I'm bringing all these goals up specifically is because I will probably be doing YouTube videos on this and whatever other platform I get to, which I'm going to talk about next. But I'm actually going to kind of take you guys along on this, take you on this magical mystery tour. I am sure shit not going to call this a journey. Everyone's on a fucking journey. I am on a trip and it is a good fucking trip. <laughs> it is a magical mystery trip. So that's why I'm sharing all this shit with y'all. Last category is YouTube slash videos. My goals for YouTube, I am going to keep videos on this platform. However, I'm going to also look for a mirror site, which I will share with you guys, but I'm not abandoning YouTube completely because, I mean, I do have some viewers that are awesome. You give me your time. And again, it would be rude of me and dis it would just be such a dick move to just disrespect people like that. So I'm going to keep videos on here, but I'm also going to look for a mirror. And more importantly than what I'm fucking doing on platforms, the videos themselves, I'm working on improving how I edit them. I'm trying to be more entertaining. I'm trying to organize myself and be ahead with my videos so that I'm not rushing, throwing shit together and I can actually be a little bit more entertaining. I do intend to do some more challenges and some t top whatever list, top 10, top five, whatever. And I also want to really try to get my ass organized to do closed captions. 
anyway, those are my 2021 goals. I would like to hear from you guys. What are some of your goals? Question of the week. What goals have you set for yourself for 2021? I actually wanted to mention that I realized last year, in spite of all the chaos with with COVID and us moving and things in my personal life that were going on, I only missed one Wednesday video. That was 53 videos in the year. I did 52 Wednesdays, 52 fucking Wednesday videos. And I did a handful of Friday night videos. So I ended up doing like 58 videos in the year. And I think that's something to be proud of. I I think that I did pretty fucking well actually doing every fucking Wednesday except for one. So yeah, that's all I have to say. <laughs> God, I've been patting myself on the back a lot. I, you know, I prefer to be a little more humble. Lincoln was my favorite president, after all. Well, closely followed by Jimmy Carter. Carter is pretty fucking kick-ass. He gets so over- Oh, man, Paul Carter, he gets overlooked all the time. And he seemed to be like a genuinely cool guy. Anyway, I'm sidetracking. Um, thanks for watching. If you want to support the channel, I talked a little bit about it, but you can buy shit, you can give me money, you can donate, you can become a patron, whatever. All that good stuff. Links are down in the description. Otherwise, like, sub, do the bell thing, and have a great new year. Peace and love, fare you well, and keep on trucking.